I posted a Pez dispenser in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group the other day, and it's just shocking what some of these go for. There are major collectors out there, but I will tell you, please do not be deceived and do not buy every pe Pez dispenser without feet that you see because some of them are not worth much at all. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go over some things that I've learned. I am definitely, most definitely not a Pez dispenser pro. Um, I'm going to show you some of the big money ones that have sold, and I'm going to show you some of the ones that don't sell for much at all. And I'm going to tell you, if you see them, to look them up. Do not shell out a bunch of money to, to buy one just because it has no feet unless you have researched it and you know it's going to sell for big money. Now, if you can pick it up for a quarter or 50 cents or a dollar, by all means, just buy it, take it home, research it. It'd be a great bread and butter item if not, you know? Um, I picked up one at a garage sale. It was a, like a semi truck and it was, I think yellow, like the truck tailgate. I don't know what it's called. The semi part, the long part that holds the cargo or whatever. I think it was yellow. And then the front was like green and it was in a bag with, um, I think a rabbit's foot, which I sold really fast. It's in my bread and butter bolo video. Like it sold super fast for great money, not huge money, but great money, fast, quick flip. I paid like a buck for this little Ziploc baggie. It had a Pez dispenser. It had a rabbit's foot and it had this weird hand keychain. Okay. And it's like a hand and it's a keychain and you could like move the fingers. Very weird. But, um, I just sold it for like 15 bucks on Bonanza or Bonanza. I don't even know how you say that site, but, um, I haven't sold a whole lot on there. So I was really shocked when I sold something. And then I was even more shocked when I saw what I sold. So that $1 bag, Ziploc bag of stuff, all of it sold. And it was a dollar for all of it. And it was kind of like, I just wanted it for the Pez. And the other things I was like, you know what, I'll just list them and see what happens. And they both ended up selling and being like a good bolo. So super, super fun. So I'm just going to keep listing and I'm going to keep learning and everything is not going to be a home run. Um, but, you know, I'm learning. I'm making money. It's a good time. This is my full-time job. Um, YouTube, I've been at it for about a year. And I think I'm at like 3,300 subscribers, something like that. So my goal, like towards when it was almost like my one-year anniversary, I really wanted to hit 3,000 subscribers just because I was getting really close. And I, I met my goal. Um, my goal for this year is I hope to be at over 10,000 by the end of the year. And I can't believe I'm saying that because that is a hefty goal. Um, you guys can help me out by sharing my videos. Um, and share the ones you like. If you don't like the video, by all means, don't share it. But if you see one and you like it and you learn something, please share it. It really helps. Like, tweet it. <laughs> There's a little button right here that says share if you're on your laptop and you can like share it to Twitter or Pinterest. Um, Mary, one of the girls um, that watches me, she created a Pinterest board for me, which is so kind. And it, um, I don't know what it's called, but she shares like all of my YouTube videos to it. And I'm like, you are so nice. That is so kind. So anyway, um, and you don't have to do that. I'm just telling you something that somebody told me. So after she told me that, I'm like, I'm going to create a Pinterest. So I went in and created a Pinterest account. That is so confusing to me. Um, all of this social media is so much work. I'm just trying to figure it all out. So, all right, Pez dispensers. That's what we're talking about. I'm on a rambling tangent. So let's get started with these Pez. Be prepared to be amazed. It is unbelievable. All right, let me get into my screen share. There we go. All right, you ready for the first one? So this rare vintage Pez, it's an orange head cow. And I only pulled up auctions, guys, that had a lot of bids. I'm not pulling up items that um, are buy it now. These are just auctions because I like to show demand. So this cow sold for 1100 and or, I'm sorry, $1,775. That is crazy. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to tell you some things to look for. Okay, so this one has no feet. This is weird. These are um, 
these are the Pez bricks, the candies that go in to the, um, the dispensers. And this is amazing that somebody still has this, but, um, these are definitely expired and you probably can't eat them, but it is just like a cool piece of history. But these went for $1,690, only one bid. Here's another cow. So I guess if you see a cow, look it up because <laughs> this one sold for $1,025. Now, if anybody's watching that is like a vintage Pez Pro, why are the cows so sought after? Were there like limited numbers made or like what's the reasoning behind the cows? Because the first two I showed you, you got this cow and you got this cow. <laughs> okay, so the witch. This is the vintage Pez witch from 1957. We all know that vintage Halloween is a bolo. So you add Vintage Pez with the Vintage Halloween, and this one sold for $1,000. And you can see it's got like a patent number and made in Austria. Now these, if you see the Pez guns, I saw many, many, many bolos of the Pez guns. This one sold for $845 with four bids. This is a Kukatu, or Kukatu, oh my goodness. It's not even late, guys. I have no excuse. It's a cockatoo <laughs> with a black head. And this one sold for $797.87. And I'm not going to edit that out because, number one, I don't have time to edit. And number two, I just think it's more fun when you guys get to laugh at my mistakes. Now, this guy has feet. So that's interesting. He has feet. See him? I'm trying to. S there you go. There's his feet. So there's one that went for big money with feet. Let's see. Um, it is made in Austria. Hard to find from my own collection. If you buy more than one, uh, blah, blah, blah. Nope. I thought maybe it was going to tell me something else. Okay. So this looks like some of them have feet and some of them do not. These went for $700. So... You can definitely, this must, this guy must be special because they gave extra, extra pictures to him. So pretty cool how they did that. The next item is, now this one's not as old. Uh, blue hair, pop Pez pal. It's rare and hard to fit to a hundred. So again, this is one of those Funko um, brands. So they don't necessarily have to be super old, okay? This one you see here, it says limited 100 pieces edition. So if you ever see limited edition where there's only 100 made, it's definitely a good idea to look that up. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, that one sold for $601 with 39 bids. Here's another one of the Pez Space Guns, and this one has the um, instructions. I'm not sure what this is up here. I have to look at this. Sometimes I see things in the pictures and I'm like, I got to shrink it down so I can actually pull it up. Is that a cow? What is that? It looks like a cow maybe, but where's it? I don't know. Anyway, so probably something else they're selling, but it just looks like they've got it thrown on their bed and hey, check out this Pez gun. Um, it didn't seem to matter because it still sold for $600 with 10 bids. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely want to find one of those. The next one is this vintage creature Pez dispenser, no feet in the original cellophane. And it looks like a monster. It sold for $567.79 with 32 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This Indian is from the 1960s. It's the Pez chief with headdress. It's a plastic candy dispenser with no feet and it sold for $560 with 17 bids um, and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another one. So this is, um, it's meant to look like a cigarette lighter. And I will get to more, I will get, I will tell you more about this here in a little bit. But yeah, at first I'm like, oh, it's broken. No, 
This sold for $525.85 with 21 bids. Here are the trucks. Uh, Versona Advertising Truck Set of 8 sold for $487 with 4 bids. This is a Factory Fresh Vintage Pez Dark Green Crocodile. No feet. Sold for $449 with 14 bids. I have no idea what Factory Fresh means. Um, says a rare animal. Oh, okay. So all my Pez items are usually meant Factory Fresh unless stated. That means in the condition I collected them from warehouses decades ago. Plastic ages, so treat vintage dispensers with respect and care. The biggest enemy is UV light, but mine were stored in dark, cool rooms, so they are fresh as they can be after 40 or more years. So there's some extra information for you. Now, factory fresh, so this must be the same seller, or maybe that's just a common use of verbiage for people who um, sell these things. Useful mint Pez spares. Okay, so these are spares guys and they sold for $445.90 with 24 bids. So it's just little different parts and pieces of Pez dispensers, like the springs. How cool is that? The Pez card game. Interesting. Sold for $440, you guys. Wow. 16 bids plus shipping. This is just a display um, topper for like advertising display topper. Sold for $438. How amazing. And then this is the cardboard counter display. And it has the Pez candy inside of it. And this went for $405. Isn't it cool when people still have these things? Look how nice that cardboard is. I mean, it's still in really nice condition. Made in Austria. Very cool. These are um, more of the Funko. These are the Funko Freddy Pop. Um, these sold for $355 with 52 bids. 450 pieces limited edition. So only 450 each of those. Now these are cool. These are the Pentagon display stand holders um, from the 60s and 70s. This sold for $350. The next one is this vintage Mr. Mystic human Pez dispenser, no feet, sold for $305 with 17 bids plus shipping. And let me tell you, there were so many Pez dispensers that sold for big money. These are kind of cool. These are uh, Junior City 2 Japanese mini Pez dispensers, set of five with the inserts, sold for $314.09. So these are little ones. And I don't know how old they are. I don't know if they're vintage or not. So very cool. Here's another one. This is a mint Pez Pentagon stand, and there's only one, and it sold for $270 plus shipping. Here's your factory fresh vintage Pez blob or octopus, and it sold for $202.50 plus shipping. And I want to show you this just so you're aware. I'm under auction, and I'm under lowest first, okay? So again, not all Pez are worth big money. And this is kind of like the truck I had, similar. Um, but no, maybe it's not. Is that a semi? Yeah. Mine was a little bit different, though. But again, you have to be very careful. This snowman went for $2.25 free shipping. So the seller probably paid to ship that. Same with this one. People started the auctions super low, and it did not work out for them. I mean, this is vintage Austria, Pez, no feet. You'd think, hmm, that's got to be a good one. Nope. So please be careful. These are game cards. Um, I'm guessing maybe from that game. But if you look at these, these are going for $4.95 each. So that deck of cards that we saw, maybe if you found a, a set that wasn't complete, you might be able to sell the cards individually like this. 
because four ninety five, if you just throw it in an envelope, that wouldn't be too bad. So again, there's here's all the cards, and it must depend on the card. But like, here's the witch with no feet. Six bucks, guys. So it really, really depends. So don't get super excited if you see some Pez dispensers with no feet. Um, and we're going to get into more of that information in a minute. But I just want to show you that not all Pez go for big money. I mean, these are all low selling vintage no feet Pez. Okay. So. I mean, they look just as cool as the ones that are going for big money. I mean, look at this one. No feet in the card. It only went for five bucks plus shipping. So um, let me go here to highest first. Um, I'm going to go into all listings. Actually, let's do buy it now. I just want to, I'm curious. So these are buy it now. Some other ones that went pretty high. It's the baseball bat and glove. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that is. That doesn't look like a Pez dispenser. Huh. So yeah, do your research, but you could get very, very lucky if you find the right ones. But yeah, all the guns, I mean... Let's see. Let's put in Pez gun and just see what comes up. I'm going to go to all listings. So there's the one I showed you. Here's 14. Pez gun lot, 14 total, 10 space guns, 470 shooters. So I think that this seller probably would have made more if they sold them separately. But I don't know. I mean, this one went for 137 just for one. So a reseller may have been buying that. I don't know. Here's one that went for 50. So I don't know. Pretty cool though, huh? All right. So I pulled up some information on Google and I kind of pulled up uh, some of the ones that were interesting that I thought we could all learn from I'm trying to zoom in for you. Um, are old Pez dispensers worth money? Um, also valuable up to 5,000 are dispensers with a shooting star on the side instead of the Pez name. So I don't have, I didn't pull any of those up. I didn't see any. So it has a shooting star on the side. So if you see one of those, definitely, definitely look it up. Um, to be valuable to a collector, Pez dispensers must work and be in perfect condition. The polystyrene, styrene, styrene, polystyrene, I don't know what that word is, used to mold the dispensers often melted when two dispensers were stored in contact with each other. So there's a little tip. What is the most valuable Pez dispenser? Santa Claus is the highest selling Pez dispenser since, since it was created in 1955. The most expensive Pez dispenser sold for $13,000. It says May 6, 2015. What is the rarest Pez? According to Gary, whoever Gary is, the rarest Pez product is the Make a Face Pez from the 1970s, sort of a Mr. Potato Head with attachable parts. What? Why was Pez invented? Pez candy was invented. Ooh, cha-ching, I sold something. What did I sell? It's not pulling up. Sorry, got to look. You guys want to know what I sold? I sold. Ah, okay. I'll have to go check that out afterwards. I'll have to ship it. Looks like they already paid me. Yay. I just closed like four or five unpaid items. I'm like, come on, people pay or don't bid. Um, oh, I got an offer on something else also. Ooh, super exciting. Two offers. All right. I've been doing videos. Um, I did two uh, featured seller videos before this, so I've been on for a little bit. Uh, so Pez candy was invented in Vienna, Austria by Edward Hawes. I think that's Edward. Edward, maybe? The third as an alternative, alternative to smoking. 
The name Pez comes from the German word for peppermint. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is funny. You guys want to hear me pronounce this? Pepheferimins. Pepheferimins. All right. Can you guys do better? Because I can't say that very good. <laughs> uh, taking the P from the first letter, E from the middle, and Z from the last letter to form the word Pez. In 1952, Pez came to the United States. Why do Pez, how many Pez dispensers exist? Since 1950, over 1,500 Pez dispensers, including the original character dispensers, have been created. Pez vending machines were used in Germany, Switzerland, and Austria thought there was one more thing. Oh, how old is Pez candy? Invented in 1948, the Pez dispenser has been around for 60 years. The candy itself has an even longer history, dating back some 20 years prior to this event. In 1927, Pez candy was introduced in Vienna, Austria. Am I saying that right? V Vienna? I may not be saying that right. Um, as what could possibly be the world's first ever breath mint. And I think that's all I pulled up. So I don't normally do that, but I just thought that um, the Pez information was kind of interesting. But the, the key thing is the shooting star on the side. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Has anybody ever seen a Pez dispenser with a shooting star on the side? And if you have, did you sell it? And if so, how much did you sell it for? All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this category video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, like, hit that thumbs up, comment and share and have an awesome night. Thanks as always for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. All right, you guys rock. See you soon.